Hi, I'm Blaise Agurarcas. I am an architect in Microsoft's Live Labs. Microsoft Live Labs is a new organization. We're really focused on pushing the state of the art in software. One of the things we're working on in Live Labs is a technology called Photosynth, which takes a number of digital photos of an environment and knits them together into a three-dimensional experience of that space that you can move through almost as if you were in a 3D game. Photosynth started off as photo tourism, the thesis project by Noah Snavely at the University of Washington. He was advised by Steve Seitz and Rick Zaliski at Microsoft Research. And the idea was to take a series of digital photos and jigsaw puzzle them together into the three-dimensional environment. When, uh, when we started working on that as Photosynth, the idea was to bring those capabilities to the web. We've been talking to the scientists at NASA about how we can use Photosynth to help them with their work and how we can use it to bring the imagery that NASA collects closer to their audience. Here we are on the 34th floor of the Vehicle Assembly Building, high above the ground, looking at the shuttle as it's getting ready to roll out. And you can see that we took a series of shots over here from the 16th, from the 16th story. And these show the body of the shuttle. We can go here and take a closer look at, uh, at the nose and at some details. Here's an overview of the entire environment. You can see the vehicle assembly building and the road that the crawler moves along to bring the space shuttle to the launch pad. If we turn on cameras, then you can see how we took a bunch of photos from the top of the vehicle assembly building. Going to the roof, we get a good view of the road. And out there, at the edge of the screen, you can see the launch pad about four miles away. Here Endeavour is on the pad just after being dropped off by the crawler. And as we cycle around and get another point of view, we can see the vehicle assembly building in the background. And just to get a sense of the, of the scale of this environment, we can start to dive in and look at details. And over here we can find somebody at work on the gantry right next to the shuttle. This is really all about exploring. Soon it'll be possible to use Photosynth to knit together your own photos and create environments out of spaces that you photograph yourself. To explore these NASA environments yourself, go to labs.live.com.